hey, 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 three days, three ways. Woof. This is gonna be a good one because we're talking about my absolute, hands down, favorite staple piece in my closet, the white button down. You can wear it a multitude of ways. It goes with you on every single trip you're taking, no matter where you're headed. It is your foolproof, I don't know what to wear today piece that you will grab again and again and again. And if you don't have one yet, now is the time. I am wearing the Citizens of Humanity Brinkley. Now this is their fabulous Kayla silhouette. So a relaxed button down, but done in an Oxford fabrication. The Kayla is more of a poplin. This is an Oxford. If you're wondering what Oxford fabrication looks like, think of your dad's work shirt from the 80s but washed down and ooh, so yummy. Now I'm a huge fan of Oxford because it holds kind of a more relaxed feel to it. If you like a more crisp version, I go for the Kayla. If you want something more relaxed, I'd go for the Brinkley. Same silhouette. What makes this great? Oversized fit, built-in extra set of buttons so it does that roll for you. You don't need to have the must with it. Slightly longer tail and a little bit more voluminous back to capture that fabulous kind of easy breezy silhouette. Now, speaking of easy breezy, this is way number one to wear this, casual. I treat it like a jacket. Now I'm pairing it back to the NOLA tank from Michael Stars. This tank, we've seen versions of it out there in the market. The reason the NOLA is so fantastic is because it has just a touch more fabrication here and under the arms. So if you've tried this cutaway tank, you like the way it looks, you think it's fun paired back to jeans, but you're finding that it's too narrow across the bust line or under the arm and you can't wear your normal bra, the NOLA is the answer. It is so fantastic, comes in multiple colors and is so, so comfortable, true to size. Now I'm wearing it underneath the Brinkley and then have it paired back to a great pair of Parkers. Now this is the Parker cuffed, just like the long, but with that cuff leg so you can unroll it and give yourself even more length, which I'm a huge fan of. I love that kind of more Bermuda length that's happening in cutoffs, but if you want it to be more cash, keep that cuff. Now, on my Tootsies, I have been waiting for these shoes to come. These are Arizona Love and they could not be more fun. Kind of a sporty sandal, but they've wrapped all the straps in these fabulous bandana prints. There's also a beautiful floral. It's a great way to wear a casual shoe but way turn up the chic. So if you're looking at Tabas and you feel like they just feel a little too sporty, these are your answers. Tons of options online. They're such a comfortable shoe. I absolutely lived in these last summer when I first found them and I'm so excited that we've got them at Every Eve now. Okay, we're gonna take this white shirt and we're gonna take it on a date. Coming up, look number two. This is undoubtedly my date night staple. I keep it super easy. It's what I gravitate to, especially on those nights when you've got 17 things on the floor and you wonder why you didn't just start with this in the first place. Great white button down, great pair of jeans, simple heel, and a touch of gold. Now here's a secret in making this top feel night out appropriate. Number one, I like it tucked in. I think it's important to show your waist in this when you go oversized and untucked I think it gets a little bit relaxed, a little bit too casual. So tucking it into a jean, preferably something a little bit higher waist, really accentuates your shape. Number two, how low can you go? I keep my shirt unbuttoned just a little bit further than I normally would. Now, a couple ways around this. You can wear your normal bra with it. And I often do like that kind of trick where Maybe I'll do a little bit of fashion tape in between the button that I open and the bottom button so that I'm kind of splitting the difference. Other times I'll just do a little fashion tape actually on the shirt and on my skin to hold it in place. Just keeping it easy, but I want to keep that neckline nice and open. Now talking about the jewelry, here we go. Adding some serious statement gold, I think is so fun. Now you can layer up, which I think can be really fun, or you can do something really simple like this great gold chain, which I love. It just feels bold and easy and kind of 70s chic sexy. Added a great little bracelet here, fun ring with a little pop of green, and then my heel. Now, here's the deal about the jean. Anything goes. You can wear a straight, 
you can wear a skinny, you can wear a boot. This is a little bit of a cross between that boot and that flare. This is that Lila from Citizens of Humanity. Now, I think this jean runs true to size. It's got a tremendous amount of stretch in it. So I say go with your normal size. It's going to feel snug, but it will give with you. And it makes it really easy because of all that stretch to tuck your shirt in. I did a full roll on this one, again, showing a little bit more skin, keeping that neckline nice and open. I'll grab a clutch and I am out the door in a flash. Now, this feels really springy and summery. If I wanted to make this work for fall or winter, I just pair it with a pair of black jeans, turn it up a little bit, and you could do a great pair of trousers. So easy and so fun. Okay, we've got one kind of in-betweener look coming up. Okay, last look. This is my go-to, just gotta get dressed, wanna look put together, couple great pieces, and done. All right, here it is one more time, that Brinkley shirt. One more way to style it. So the great thing about these shirts is they actually have two buttons so you can kind of decide how high you want that roll to go. I'm grabbing the second button on this one so I'm getting more of an elbow length shirt. Now, nice and relaxed. I snatched up that button one more for my date night look and I did a half tuck here. So full tuck in the front and I'm just letting it kind of billow out in back. Super easy. Part of the reason I love this is that it helps give a shape for the waist, especially in these amazing patch pocket jeans. <laughs> Can we talk about these from Amo? These are what dreams are made of, right? So cool patch pocket, yummy, yummy denim more of an ankle length than a true wide. So this is just a kicking around comfy jean. Now what I think makes a white shirt and denim look feel totally put together is all about the accessories and it doesn't need to be complicated. So here, grab one great necklace. This is this fun turquoise necklace. I absolutely adore this guy. I think there's something really playful about it and really interesting and the way that it catches the light and just really works beautifully with white and blue, done. And then for my shoe, I grab my favorite new slide. This guy comes in multiple colors. This is more of a bone color, so it's not a true, true white. Mix your neutrals, I'm giving you permission. Yes, you can do that. And they have some cushion in them, so super, super comfy, done. The white shirt, you cannot beat it. Now this guy comes of course in another color, an Oxford blue, if you're more of a blue gal. You can do the exact same thing that I was doing with the white shirt with this. And again, it also comes in that great Kayla fabrication, which is more of a poplin. Dress it down, dress it up, wear it somewhere in between. It's bound to become your favorite shirt in your closet. Hope this gave you some great ideas and mm, these jeans might have to snag these for my closet as well. Happy, happy day, everyone. We will see you soon. Take care.